Hello ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the most important questions of week of January 2020 so now let's start according to the recent study conducted by swiss bank julius baer which is the most expensive city of the world for luxury goods so recently swiss bank julius baer has conducted a study and as per them hong kong is the most expensive city for the selected luxury goods and Asia is considered to be the most expensive continent. The country is first of its kind exhibition on Indian heritage in digital space was inaugurated in which city? So it was inaugurated in New Delhi and recently Union Culture Minister Mr Prahlad Singh Patel inaugurated this country's first of its kind special exhibition on Indian heritage in digital space. The 7th conference of Commonwealth Parliamentary Association was organized in which city so this held in Lucknow and it was inaugurated by Lok Sabha speaker Mr Om Birla How many Indian astronauts have been selected for India's first human space mission so four astronauts who are from IAF that is Indian Air Force were selected for the first human space mission of India Which cricketer was named as the captain of ICC's ODI and Test teams of the year? So recently, ICC announced ODI and Test team, and Mr. Virat Kohli has been named as the captain of both ODI as well as Test team of the year. The United States recently signed the first phase of historic trade deal with which country? So recently, US signed the first phase of historic trade deal. with china now before this trade deal usa drops the designation of china as currency manipulator alok kansal has been recently appointed as the general manager of western railway where is the headquarters of western railways so recently mr alok kansal has been appointed as the general manager of western railway zone the previous general manager was mr anil kumar gupta and the headquarters of western railways is in mumbai which technology company has recently launched the new version of its edge chromium browser for both mac and windows platforms so recently microsoft announced the launch of new edge chromium browser for both mac and windows platforms the entire government of which country resigned recently after the constitutional amendments announced by its president so recently the president of russia announced certain constitutional amendments that would extend his powers beyond presidency and therefore the entire government of russia resigned including the prime minister of russia mr dmitry medvedev which union territory of india recently hosted the first ever food processing summit so it was hosted by the newly created union territory of ladakh according to the recent global risk report of world economic forum which is the biggest long term risk so recently wef released the 15th edition of global risk report aljandro giamatti was sworn in as the president of which latin american country right answer is guatemala so recently mr aljandro giamatti was sworn in as the president of guatemala which ministry has recently launched the cyber security grand challenge award so it is an initiative by ministry of electronics and information technology and for this ministry of electronics and information technology has collaborated with dsci that is data security council of india which indian private bank has launched an api banking portal with the highest number of virtual application programming interfaces so this api stands for application programming interfaces so recently icici launched an api banking portal with 250 virtual application programming interfaces and this is maximum api clubbed by any indian bank which state recently launched a state wide helpline for laborers called e shramik samadhan so recently odisha chief minister mr navin patnaik launched 
द स्टेट वाइड हेल्पलाइन फॉर लेबरर्स कोल्ड ई श्रमिक समाधान विच कंट्री इज टू सेटअप इट्स न्यू रिसर्च बेस कॉमांडेंट फराज एंटार्कटिक स्टेशन इन अंटार्कटिका सो रिसेंटली ब्राजील अनाउंस दैट इट वुड ओपन इट्स न्यू रिसर्च बेस इन अंटार्कटिका विच इज द फर्स्ट इंडियन स्टेट टू साइन a memorandum of understanding with IUCN to prepare a red list assessment of orchids so recently arunachal pradesh became the first state of india to do so the cabinet of which state recently approved a commissionerate system of policing to give more powers to the police officers and this is to be implemented in two cities of this state so right answer is uttar pradesh and recently Uttar Pradesh cabinet approved implementation of the commissionerate system in two cities one is Lucknow and another one is Noida The Central Adoption Resource Authority that is CARA recently celebrated its 5th annual day CARA is a statutory body of which ministry so it is a statutory body of Ministry of Women and Child Development and it is the nodal body for the adoption of children which indian entrepreneur was recently honored with australia's highest civilian honor order of australia so recently the founder and chairperson of biocon ms kiran majumdar show was honored with the australia's highest civilian honor order of australia recently revised national tb control program was renamed so what exactly is the new name so health ministry recently renamed the r and tcp that is revised national tb revised national tb control program and the new name is national tuberculosis elimination program that is ntep bapu nadkarni who passed away recently was associated to which field so he was associated to cricket and he was well known left arm spinner and all rounder who played for india in international cricket matches he passed away recently which famous international company is to release its original film named the banker so apple is going to release this movie named the banker which indian wrestler won the gold medal at rome ranking series 2020 event that held recently so recently miss vinesh fogart won the gold medal in 53 kg category at rome ranking series 2020 and miss vines fogart is a well known wrestler the birth rate of which country fell to the lowest since the founding of country 7 decades ago right answer is china so as per the official data from china the country's birth rate fell to the lowest since 1949 the 6.5 km long jad mor tunnel which was seen in news recently is to be constructed in which state or union territory so the tunnel is to be built in jammu and kashmir union territory and recently a memorandum of understanding was signed in this regard in the presence of minister of road transport and highways mr nitin gadkari the passengers returning from which country are to be screened for novel corona virus that is nco in selected indian airports so china is hit by a new viral disease novel coronavirus and that is why ministry of health and family welfare instructed the airport authorities of delhi mumbai and kolkata to screen the passengers returning from china and to check through thermal scanners if they carry the virus china's great wall motors is set to acquire the manufacturing plant of which automobile company located in maharashtra so china's leading automobile manufacturer great wall motors has signed an agreement with american manufacturer general motors to acquire the manufacturing plant of general motors which is located in maharashtra who was recently conferred the prestigious icsi lifetime achievement award for 2020 by the institute of company secretaries of india right answer is as indu jain so the chairperson of bennett coleman and company miss indu jain won the prestigious icsi lifetime achievement award 
who was recently appointed as the new prime minister of Russia. So recently Mr. Mikhail Mishustin was appointed as the new prime minister of Russia. Actually recently the entire government of Russia including the prime minister Mr. Dmitry Medvedev resigned following the constitutional reforms proposed by Russian president Mr. Putin and therefore the new prime minister was appointed and new prime minister is Mr. Mikhail Mishustin. Who is the author of book The Winning Sixer which was recently released? So former Indian cricketer and current head coach of national women's team Mr. W. V. Raman is the author of this book The Winning Sixer Leadership Lessons to Master. The S-400 air defense missile system will be delivered to India by which country? We have already discussed this question yesterday so it will be delivered by Russia. Which multinational company has recently announced that it would create 1 million jobs in India by 2025? So recently the head of Amazon Mr. Jeff Bezos was in India and he announced that Amazon would invest in India to create 1 million jobs by 2025. Which country is to play host to the ICC Under-19 World Cup 2020 tournament? So South Africa is going to be the host of this year's Under-19 2020 tournament. Which Indian tennis player recently won the WTA Hobart International Doubles title along with the partner Nadia Kichanok? Right answer is Ms. Sanya Mirza. So recently Ms. Sanya Mirza won the WTA Hobart International Doubles title along with her partner Nadia. Nadia is from Ukraine. Triple 2 Squadron, the first Sukhoi 30 MKI equipped squadron is to operate from Tanjavur Air Force Station. Now the question is, this Tanjavur Air Force Station is situated in which state of India? So it is in Tamil Nadu. So the Triple 2 Squadron with its Sukhoi 30 MKI fighters will be the part of Southern Air Command and it will operate from Tanjavur Air Force Station in Tamil Nadu. What is the name of India's first e-commerce housing portal launched by National Real Estate Development Council? Right answer is housingforall.com. So recently National Real Estate Development Council announced the India's first e-commerce housing portal and the name of this portal is housingforall.com. Who is to lead the Indian delegation to the 50th World Economic Forum meeting which is to be held at Davos? So Mr. Pius Goel is going to be the head of Indian delegation for the 50th World Economic Forum meeting in Davos and Mr. Pius Goel will be accompanied by Minister of State for Chemical and Fertilizers Mr. Mansukh Mandavia. Which famous international tennis tournament is organized in the month of January every year? So Australian Open is the first of the four Grand Slam tournaments and it is organized every year in the month of January. Which state recently organized the world's longest awareness human chain for more than 18,000 kilometers? So recently Bihar organized this world's longest awareness human chain under its Jal Jeevan Hariyali campaign. Which Indian city has been adjudged as the world's most dynamic city as per the JLL City Monument Index 2020. As per the JLL City Momentum Index 2020. Right answer is Hyderabad. So Hyderabad was recently adjudged as the world's most dynamic city as per this JLL City Momentum Index. Which country recently test fired a nuclear capable ballistic missile named K4 which can be launched from submarine. So recently India has successfully test fired nuclear capable missile from the coast of Andhra Pradesh. Now the name of this ballistic missile is K4 and it can be launched from a submarine. Recently 146 Iravadi dolphins were spotted in Chilka Lake. Now the question is Chilka Lake is situated in which state or union territory? So Chilka Lake is the largest brackish water lake of India and it is situated in Odisha and recently it was in news because of Iravadi dolphins. 
which state is to set up a committee to suggest measures to improve forest tourism. So recently, Maharashtra government has decided to set up a committee to suggest measures to increase the number of visitors to the state forest area. And therefore, this decision was taken. And this decision was taken at a meeting that was chaired by Mr. Aditya Thakre. He is the tourism minister of state of Maharashtra. The Union Home Minister, Mr. Amit Shah, is set to launch Polnet 2.0 platform. What is the Polnet 2.0? Means it is associated to which field? Right answer is Police Network Service. So it is associated to Police Network Service. And Mr. Amit Shah launched this platform at the National Conference of Heads of Public Protection and Disaster Relief Organizations. What is the name of exhibition of Indian Electrical Industry that was recently inaugurated by Union Minister of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises? Right answer is Electrama. The Union Minister of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises and Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Mr. Prakash Javadekar, inaugurated this Electrama. What is the name of female actor who won the outstanding performance by a female actor in Motion Picture Award in the Screen Actors Guild Awards? Right answer is Renee Jalweger. So, Renee Jalweger won this award in the female category. Which state cabinet has recently approved the proposal for creating three capitals for the state? So, recently, Andhra Pradesh cabinet has approved the proposal to create three state capitals for the decentralized development in the state. Now, these three capitals are Amravati, it is going to be the legislative capital, while Vishakhapatnam is going to be the executive capital, and Kurnool is going to be the judicial capital. Which telecom service provider recently partnered with Google Cloud to enhance its services to the Indian businessman? So recently, Harthi Airtel and Google announced a partnership and through this partnership, Airtel will be able to offer G Suite to the small and medium sized businesses in our country. What is the theme of NIC Tech Conclave 2020 organized by NIC? NIC stands for National Informatics Center. Right answer is Technologies for Next Gen Governance. Which union minister is recently elected as the president of Archery Association of India? So, recently, Mr. Arjun Munda, who is the present Union Minister of Tribal Affairs, was elected as the President of Archery Association of India. Which Indian athlete won the G. V. Raja Sports Award of Kerala Government in the male category? Right answer is Mr. Mohammad Anas. So, Indian sprinter and national record holder in 400 meters sprint, Mohammad Anas was presented with the G. V. Raja Award in the male category by the Kerala State Sports Council. Which Indian city plays host to the International Children's Film Festival? So Kolkata is the host of International Children's Film Festival. Which badminton player recently cleansed the Indonesia Masters title? Right answer is Pachonek Intanon. So Ms. Intanon won the Indonesia Masters title by defeating Ms. Carolina Marine. Which organization recently commissioned the first phase of real-time train information system for Indian Railways? Right answer is BEL, that is Bharat Electronics Limited. So, BEL recently commissioned the first phase of real-time train information system for Indian Railways. Ro Tai Moon was recently appointed as the chief of mobile phone division of which famous company? Right answer is Samsung. So, Mr. Moon was recently appointed as chief of mobile division of Samsung. Samsung is a South Korean company. Which is the most polluted city in India as per the report by Greenpeace? So Greenpeace is an environmental NGO and recently it released a report and as per that report, Jharia in Jharkhand is the most polluted city of India and Dhanbad in Jharkhand is on second position. Which state is the first in the country to implement agricultural land leasing policy? So recently, Uttarakhand government released a notification that it has made a policy to lease the agricultural land. 
and therefore it became the first state in India to do so. What is the name of the indigenous artillery guns which are to be inducted into Indian Army? So 18 indigenous upgraded Sarang military guns are to be inducted into Indian Army. Which Defence Force of India has recently signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Geological Survey of India? So Indian Navy signed an agreement for sharing the data of seabed. The National Bravery Awards for Children are presented by which ministry or organization annually? So it is presented by Indian Council for Child Welfare. And recently these awards were presented in New Delhi and 22 children were selected for these National Bravery Awards. Retired IAS officer Yudhvir Singh Malik has been recently appointed as a CMD of which crisis hit form? Right answer is UNITAC. So recently, Mr. Malik has been appointed as the CMD of UNITAC. Which private sector bank launched cardless, cashless withdrawal facility from its ATMs? First thing first, what is the full form of ATM? Okay, right answer is ICICI Bank. So recently, ICICI Bank launched cardless withdrawal facility from its ATMs. The facility will be available throughout the day across all ATMs of ICICI Bank. As per the recent survey of Chief Executive Officers by the consultancy firm PwC, which country has the highest growth prospectus? So it is United States. So recently, consultancy firm PwC conducted a survey and as per that survey, the US has the highest growth prospectus according to the CEOs. The recently set up National Startup Advisory Council is to be chaired by which Union Minister? So Minister of Commerce and Industry is going to be the chairperson of National Startup Advisory Council. India's first ever convention centre in Africa was recently inaugurated in which African country? So recently, External Affairs Minister Mr. S. Jay Sankar inaugurated the first ever convention centre of India in Africa and this was inaugurated in Niger. Which country recently took over the chairmanship of G77 for 2020? So recently, Guyana took over the chairmanship of G77 for 2020 from Palestine. Palestine was the chair of G77 for 2019. 1T.org, a platform to support and conserve 1 trillion trees around the world was recently convened by which international organization? So recently, at the 50th World Economic Forum annual meeting in Davos, this 1T.org was launched to support and to conserve 1 trillion trees. And this plan was announced by the founder and executive chairman of WEF, Mr. Klaus Schwab. The Moana Kia Volcano, which was seen in news regarding the TMT, that is 30 meter telescope is situated in which country? So right option is USA. Actually Hawaii is in USA and this is a state of USA and it is located in the Pacific Ocean. So recently this TMT was in news as the local people are protesting against this TMT. The ninth nations cup boxing tournament was held in which country? So it held in Serbia and India performed well in this tournament. India finished the tournament with 6 medals out of which 4 were silver and 2 were bronze. Capital of Serbia is Belgrade and currency is Serbian dinar. Which state has been ranked first in the list of India's top 10 states for leadership in energy and environmental design that is lead. So Maharashtra is on the top position. Which Indian was recently named as the chairman of World Economic Forum's IT Governors Community? So recently, the head of HCL Technologies, Mr. C. Vijay Kumar, has been named as the chairman of World Economic Forum's IT Governors Community. So he is the president and CEO of HCL Technologies. Which Indian wrestler was recently inducted in the government's All India Council of Sports? So recently, AICS, that is All India Council of Sports, 
was reconstituted by sports ministry Katrina Seclero Paulu was recently elected as the first female president of which country so recently she was elected as the president of Greece and she has worked as a top level judge in the Greece which Indian state is set to use facial recognition software for its local body elections for the first time in our country so telangana is going to use facial recognition software for its local body elections and this is going to be the first time in our country the reserve bank of india recently cancelled the authorization certificate of which famous payment system operator so recently rbi cancelled the certificate of authorization of vodafone mpesa actually vodafone itself requested rbi to cancel it hasan daeb who was seen in news recently is the prime minister of which country so recently lebanon formed a new government under prime minister hasan daeb which indian telecom service provider recently got approval from the telecom department to raise the fdi limit to 100% so recently department of telecommunications gave approval to bharti airtel to increase the fdi limit up to 100% of the paid up capital according to recent notification issued by ministry of law and justice of india which country was declared as the reciprocating territory so recently ministry of law and justice issued a notification and declared uae to be the reciprocating territory under section 44 of cpc that is civil procedure code of 1908 what is india's rank in carbon disclosure project india annual report so carbon disclosure project india released its report of 2018 and the title is corporates hashtag step up climate action so as per this report india is on fifth position which indian actor was recently honored with the crystal award of world economic forum so recently World Economic Forum held in Davos and it was the 50th annual meeting of World Economic Forum and during this meeting Bollywood actress Ms Deepika Padukone received the Crystal Award for her work in the field of mental health which state government has recently launched the Mukhya Mantri Krishak Durghatna Kalyan Yojana so recently the state government of Uttar Pradesh launched this mukhya mantri krishak durghatna kalyan yojana what is the name of humanoid robot which was recently unveiled by isro so recently isro that is indian space research organization unveiled humanoid robot called vyom mitra vyom means sky now this humanoid robot can perform all crew like functions so before orbiting the astronauts on india's first manned mission in december 2021 isro will send vyom mitra in the unmanned gaganyaan spacecraft what is the capital of newly formed union territory of dadra and nagar haveli and daman and diu so recently union cabinet chaired by prime minister mr modi announced the city of daman as the headquarters of newly constituted union territory of dadra and nagar haveli and daman and diu so Daman is going to be the headquarter of this newly created union territory. Indian Oil Corporation Limited of India recently signed an memorandum of understanding to assist the petroleum authority of which country? So recently MOU was signed between IOCL that is Indian Oil Corporation Limited and the National Petroleum Authority of Ghana to expand the LPG network. So Indian Oil Corporation Limited will provide assistance and technical expertise to the National Petroleum Authority of Ghana. Union Minister for Petroleum and Natural Gas and Steel has recently launched a volunteer scheme service for the employees of which Indian PSU. So recently, Union Minister for Petroleum and Natural Gas and Minister for Steel, Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan, launched a volunteer scheme service for the employees of SAIL, that is steel authority of india limited what is rank of india in 2019 democracy index released by economist intelligence unit so recently 
Economist Intelligence Unit that is EIU released this Democracy Index and as per this index, India is on 51st position. India has been ranked at which place in the 2020 Global Talent Competitiveness Index. So recently, this index was released and as per this recent index, India is on 72nd position. The index is topped by Switzerland. Which country recently discontinued the ozone depleting chemical hydrochlorofluorocarbon 141B? So recently, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change released a notification that India has discontinued the HCFC 141B. The Union Sports Ministry of India recently de-recognized which sports federation of country. So recently, Roving Federation of India was de-recognized by the Sports Ministry. Sivangi Sarma, a top swimmer who clinched five gold medals in Khelo India Youth Games, is associated to which state? So she is from Assam and recently she won five gold medals and two silver medals in the recently held Khelo India Youth Games. Which country recently became the first in South Asia to introduce e-passports? So recently Bangladesh became first such country in South Asia to introduce e-passports and recently the first e-passport was handed over to the Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Ms. Sheikh Hasina. The birth anniversary of which great Indian leader was recently celebrated on 23rd of January as National Day of Patriotism. So the birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose is celebrated as National Day of Patriotism. What is the name of information and communication technology based multimodal platform for governance? Right answer is Pragati. So the name of this platform is Pragati and recently Prime Minister Mr. Modi chaired the 32nd interaction of Pragati platform. So these were the important questions. Thank you and that's all for the day.